Ja, wir zeigen hier im Museum für Gegenwartskunst Siegen mit der Ausstellung Augen der Welt von Katja Nowitzkova die größte Einzelausstellung und auch erste Museumsausstellung der Künstlerin in Deutschland. Und ihre Ausstellungen sind eigentlich zu verstehen wie große Umgebungen, in die sie die Besucherinnen und Besucher hineinzieht, bestehend aus Fotografie, skulpturalen Elementen, dreidimensionalen Objekten, Projektionen, Materialbildern, die sie zu Installationen arrangiert und kombiniert. Die Grundfrage, die sich durch ihre Arbeit zieht, ist, inwieweit unsere Wahrnehmung von Welt eben durch die digitalen Bildern und Interpretationen von Welt im Grunde genommen beeinflusst sind und wie man aber auch diese sogenannten zweidimensionalen virtuellen Bilder, die berechneten Bilder, auch die von Algorithmen veränderten Ansichten eben wieder zu einer räumlichen Erfahrung werden kann und gleichzeitig aber auch kritisch hinterfragen muss. So the work is first in a, in a large series of works called Approximation Series. And I came across this classical National Geographic image of a, a penguin family. And I took the penguins out of that image, like the main strong signal as what I identified. And I decided that I will scale them up and somehow make a sculpture of, out of that. So I will take the signal, the strong signal, visual signal out of the I digital image and uh, make it physical. And I wanted to convey is that it approximates this uh, like an image that is activating to our emotional uh, state. And also, uh, and it's just arrangement of colors and lines, you know? So it, if you think a bit about, about it in a very abstract sense, because the sculpture has nothing to do with real penguins. It's just an arrangement of colors and lines that we identify as penguins. And I'm always interested in the sort of anatomy of the image. And we get to the Mars, it becomes something else because A red arrow is, is often an element in two things, uh, scientific images and conspiracy theories. <laughs> and, and that also includes this sort of growth arrows as this expansionist uh, concept. So both a kind of capitalist expansion and this colonial expansion, they love these arrows. Everything in the room is actually a reflection of our current reality. So all the images, all the objects, all the materials are taken from the everyday reality that we are currently living in. And the conclusions are open-ended so people can make their own conclusions. In my work I find this uh, theme of conflict between nature and technology via humans as a major theme. And the, the main conflict is just in the expansion of human presence on the planet in each dimension from micro dimension to planetary scale dimension. So that's kind of, this installation is a bit about this conflict in a way. For me, this is the eyes of the world basically, because often in a lot of the topic of the exhibition, of the whole exhibition, Often uh, in, in the images, the animal is looking back at the camera and, uh, and we're looking back at them uh, through this um, sort of means of technology. So, and in this particular sculpture that I made specifically for the show, I made a cutout sculpture of the deers kissing with already my line, my skeletal line over it. Uh, and I made the side panels, and the side panels are edited images from scientific paper that explains how an AI algorithm would identify an animal from a data set like that. But somewhere in there, there's this beautiful emotion <laughs> of two creatures bonding. <laughs> and for me, that's the heart kind of, of what's going on, because I don't also want to be the cold observer just observing data flows and political issues. I, I, for me, this emotion is very important. But I also then noticed that I want to keep this aluminum as one of my main materials and this metallic uh, shine, but it's always there. It's this basically like molded metal. And I find that very interesting that there's this effect of a molded metal also with the little weapons in the Mars room. And I just discovered that 
nail polish is the best way to achieve what I want. We also use spray paint, uh, metallic spray paint on the back sides. So it's different types of metallic paint that we uh, combine together. And that it's, uh, despite its very artificial side, it also has a very handmade side. So it's real hands that make this clay works. We hand paint the nail polish on. There's no way to automate it. Uh, each work is unique because the transfer is never the same. So these panels are very unique as opposed to the print that you can make a thousand of. And so this combination is, makes things in time, in space, a unique thing. Mm -hmm.